Hello, all my dear Virgo friends. This is Maxine Taylor, and I have your forecast for December 2023. This is very exciting. Uh, what I would like to do, however, first is answer some of the questions that you have been asking me for weeks and weeks and weeks. Okay, let me just start here at the beginning. <sighs> Many of you have asked, when are you going to go back to Phoenix and the Dragon and do full moon ceremonies there? Well, I'm happy to report that um, I will be going back and doing um, the full moon ceremonies uh, in the patio of um, Phoenix and the Dragon. We will be meeting for the first time in several years. COVID, you know, stopped everything on December 26th. That's the day after Christmas at 6.30 in the evening. I'm saying 6.30 because we need more time. Uh, the crowds have been large over the years. And although it is the day after Christmas, um, I want I want to be able to let you go uh, and encourage you to go uh, when the ceremony is finished. And most people want to hang around and you know how that goes. So 6.30, we'll have more time and you'll be able to visit afterwards, of, of, car, of course. Now, I'm going to continue doing my virtual full moon ceremonies on YouTube. So those of you who live around the country or around the world will still be able to join me in the um, new moon ceremonies. All right. The next question has been about when I'm going to go back to teaching astrology. The last series of classes um, I offered um, ended officially last month, uh, which it was an amazing group of, of people, and I just love it. I will be starting a new series um, of classes, and this is for those of you who would like to study astrology for yourself or you're interested in becoming an astrologer. I'm going to share everything I know with you. And so what I'm going to do, let me read my own handwriting here, uh, the astrology class my astrology class will begin January 18th. That's a Thursday at 7 p.m. Now, the mention I'm the the reason I'm mentioning mine is because in addition, I'm going to start teaching astrology at the Phoenix and Dragon. Um, and this is for those of you in the Atlanta area. We're going to begin. Saturday, January 20th at 11 o'clock in the morning. If you are interested in studying astrology with me, if you've always been fascinated by astrology, I am America's first licensed astrologer. And um, I, well, you've got my bio on my website. I'm very happy to train those people who come from love on how to be an astrologer, give them the information they need, teach them everything I know, and then turn them loose on the world to lift the planet. If you're ready for that, go to my website, maxinetaylor.com, um, or send me an email, starmax at bellsouth.net. Now, I'm also going to... Um, video of it'll be brief i'm going to do a short video called let's talk money everybody's interested in learning how to earn more of it and i'm going to explain it from the standpoint of uh your sun sign i can't tell you exactly what day that will come out because i'm still um, videoing the sun signs i'm going to do the united states and then I will do the Let's Talk Money. I think you'll find it very interesting. 
Ah, okay. Now, Christmas, Hanukkah, all the holidays that involve gift giving. I've got some suggestions for you. I just finished my latest book. Well, actually, I resurrected an older book made a couple of changes in it. Um, and it's called What Your Astrologer Never Mentioned. This is a funny book, all right? Um, it is, uh, it's a brief book. It's not a textbook. It's not supposed to replace any of my astrological books. Like, uh, now that I've cast it, what do I do with it? It is, um, a humorous but true trip around the Zodiac. And in this funny book, I'll reveal what makes each sign tick. This is a great stocking stuffer. This is a great hostess gift. And uh, it's a terrific present for the skeptic in your life. All right. And for you, turn to it when you need a chuckle. I highly recommend this uh, for a chuckle. We need that. Now, right along those lines, I wrote another book this year called It's in the Cards, in which I teach you how to read regular playing cards astrologically, and you do not need any knowledge of astrology to do it. This is a great gift for somebody who's interested in the metaphysical um, and is perhaps interested in card reading. You need no background in astrology. Um, you use regular playing cards, nothing fancy, because we're getting signs all the time. All right? It's in the cards. A simplified card reading method based on astrology. There you go. Now, the book I consider to be my piece de résistance. I finished this a few weeks back. It's called Secrets from the Womb. And it's subtitled The Hidden Pact That Runs Your Life. This book is not for everyone. This book is for the spiritual student who is so sick and tired of seeing the story of his or her life repeated over and over again, um, who has tried to release it unsuccessfully, who is just pulling their hair out because they're so sick of seeing the same old, same old. This is a three-step uh, procedure, very simple. Uh, I asked God for it. I actually yelled at God for it. And God delivered. This, the first part of the book is complete with testimonials from people whose lives were transformed by these three simple steps. The rest, of course, the information on how you can do it. If you're interested in this book, all my books are available on Amazon right now. If you're interested in a personal session with me on the secrets from the womb. If you need a card reading, anything at all, go to my website. I do private sessions on the, the secrets from the womb. It's, it's very, very powerful and very simple to do. Okay, now let's talk about you, darling Virgo. All right. Well, the first thing I, I've got to tell you, and many of you know this, um, Mercury is going to go retrograde on the 13th of December. Um, it will go direct January 2nd, 2024. When Mercury goes retrograde, everything is confused, right? You start a project run out of supplies. You make uh, an appointment to meet somebody for lunch. Uh, you go the wrong day, they go to the wrong restaurant. This is the confusion of retrograde mercury. What do we do during this time? 
we tie up the loose ends of unfinished business. All right. And after Mercury goes direct, then we start new projects. Now, Jupiter, the greater benefic in the, in the zodiac, goes direct on the 30th of the month. Jupiter has been retrograde for months. And so it is not has not expressed itself on its highest and best level. Uh, Jupiter rules truth. It rules money. It rules um, expansion. It's jovial. It's joyful. It's that's why it's the greater benefic. It is in your ninth house of truth. This is actually Virgo, um, the natural house for Jupiter, because it is Jupiter rules Sagittarius in the natural zodiac. So it's stronger there. Um, in the ninth house, you're looking at higher education, long distance travel, seeing a bigger picture than you ever saw before, and dealing with principles rather than ideas. The whole panorama of life opens up to you and you see options that you had you didn't know you had it's great let's go over here to venus the pink planet venus is love it's money it's beauty it is the lesser benefic jupiter and venus are the two good guys of the zodiac they both bring wonderful beautiful things to our lives venus rules music and art and money and in the second house you got it it's been in your second house uh for uh several weeks and on the uh, creating more money more gifts etc and on the fourth it's going to move into your third house and you're going to see the world through loving eyes you'll speak lovingly you don't want to speak poorly of people while venus is in the third and then on the 29th, Venus joins this crowd in your fourth house. It brings love to home and family and real estate. And the fourth house is emotional security. It provides emotional security. I love it. And you will too. This is a great time to beautify your home. Mars, the red planet. Boy, oh boy. Mars is passion. Mars says, do it now. Don't wait. Uh, wherever Mars is, that's what you fight with and fight for. There can be a very passionate um, interaction between you and a relative, if you get in the drift. Um, so it's both love and hate at the same time. And yes, you can get things done around the house. Um, however, with Mercury retrograde, the things you want to get done are tying involve tying up loose ends and not starting new projects the sun the yellow planet is the giver of life and it's, it's the center of your life and there it is in the fourth house of home family and real estate so you're going to want to sit at home with relatives and enjoy or maybe just sit at home and enjoy your own company on the 21st it moves into your fifth house of fun and games, and it will be time to party. Okay? Also time to spend moments, hours, if you have them, with your children. It's quite, because the fifth house is fun, and you want to have fun, and your kids do too. Mercury is the blue planet. Mercury is what we think about and talk about. It is in your fifth house, but remember it's going retrograde. So you're having fun and all that. And on the 22nd, it joins the sun. Well, actually the sun will have moved into the fifth by then. It joins Venus and Mars in your fourth house. And so there's unfinished business that you'll be able to finish with either the actual structure of the house, the building itself, or the people who live there. Now we have a new moon on December 12th. And on the new moon, energy starts going, moving forward. 
This is wonderful. The problem is uh, on the 13th, Mercury goes retrograde and we're really feeling it by then. The new moon is in 20 degrees of Sagittarius. So you want to spread your wings and soar. This may involve expanding your home, expanding your family. Remember, December 12th. Um, two days before the new moon, we're in the dark of the moon. You look out at the midnight sky and the, you, you don't see the moon. It's dark out there. On the new moon, it starts to grow and everything functions and forms as it should. Two weeks later, we've got the full moon. And lo and behold, it is in your 11th house of the humanitarian. And so you can uh, identify with humanitarian projects and you can be a humanitarian more than you have in a while. The full moon is on December 27th in five degrees Cancer. Uh, what I would do is I would get together with people I haven't visited in a long time. I would uh, re-examine my friendships and get involved with philanthropic organizations, humanitarian organizations, you will feel wonderful. So there it is, December, 2023. Ah, and as we move into the close of the year, I hope you'll join me next month when once again, I take a look at your forecast have a beautiful holiday, be safe, and my blessing for everybody is may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.